Hi, I'm Elizabeth Winchester here with teen chef Logan Gulaf. Welcome to Cooking with Time for Kids. Logan, you've been cooking since the age of two and you're now 14 years old. What have been some career highlights so far? Oh, well, I started cooking, like you said, when I was two, and it started with morning coffee for my mom. <laughs> and then uh, I won my first contest at eight, and then I won MasterChef Junior at 12, and uh, I just recently got my very first James Beard Award. Wow, congratulations. Oh, thank you. I see you're now working with Johnsonville, a company that makes breakfast sausage patties, and you've created some recipes, including the one you'll share with us today, for sausage hash brown muffins. What yep. are the other ingredients? All right, we got our hash browns, we got our cheese, we got eggs, we got onions, we have salt and pepper, we have, of course, the sausage, and we have a little dash of hot sauce, you know, to really add like a little bit of zing to it. Great. Well, as with all recipes we share, if you're not a teen chef, grab an adult before you hit the kitchen. Let's get cooking. All right, so we're here in the kitchen and it's time to get started. First thing that we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to preheat our oven to 375 degrees. And now it is time to put in our breakfast sausage into our little muffin tin because we're making these really cute, little adorable, scrumptious hash brown muffins with sausage on the bottom. So we're gonna put in our, uh, our little sausage patties in here. It doesn't really matter how you do them, just as long as they fit in there, I mean, that's really what matters. So now that we have these done, we can put these aside because we need to uh, mix in our hash browns. Now so the first step is we're gonna crack our eggs. It's time for the other egg. There we go. And now we're gonna whisk it. Now, how I do it is you're gonna kind of hold the bowl and it's mainly in your wrist. It's not with your whole arm. You just want to, really want to use it with your wrist and this is a real French technique and make sure that you can whisk it for like days and stuff without getting like, oh my gosh, I'm so tired from whisking. You know, we just kind of want to get some air in them, get them kind of a little fluffier. And about there we go. And just give it another, another real quick whisk. Next thing that we're gonna do here is we're gonna add in our onions. Now, I'm, I'm not a big fan of onions. I mean, they're kind of necessary, but I don't really like them. So now we're gonna use our little, little tool here, get them out, make sure that you get, get almost all of them. Then we're gonna add in some cheese. I love cheese. I mean, who doesn't love cheese? And next we're gonna add in our potatoes. And you just kinda wanna add in some potatoes. About that much is about good. And we're gonna add in next we're gonna add in our salt. Now, here's a key thing that a chef once taught me, is to season from high up above. And you do that because it'll spread out more evenly along a bigger surface area. And that's why you season from high above. And of course, we have a dash of hot sauce. Now, be kind of careful, because I mean, it's hot sauce. So just like a little bit, not a lot, just a tad. And so now we're just gonna mix it up. Almost, almost done. And now we're gonna bring over our sausage. We're gonna take our quarter cup measuring cup here and we're just gonna take a scoop, scoop out, try and get it kind of level. I mean, we're just kind of making these little cute muffins here. So just kind of get it on there. Just kind of wanna fill all of these up. There we go. And now we are going to put our little sausage muffin cups in the oven. And we're just gonna put them in there for 40 minutes. All right, so now that our muffins are out of the oven, we had them in there at 375 degrees for 40 minutes, and now they're all golden and crispy and delicious. Now these are great gluten-free breakfast, great for um, just any time of the day, any day of the week. And I'm Logan Jira Chef, and thanks for cooking with Time for Kids. <laughs>